What is up guys and girls, it's me GameShark and welcome back to another video. Before we get into today's video, I do just want to quickly announce, I have now set up a Patreon page for my channel. I have had many people message me and request that I do set one of these up. So, I looked into it and I finally decided to go through with it. This Patreon will help support me and my channel in order for me to keep creating and post and uploading these high quality videos for you guys. YouTube has changed a lot recently and they are making it hard for me and many other creators on their platform to keep creating videos. So please if you do have time take a look around my page, there are some amazing rewards and fantastic benefits for each tier if you were to make a pledge. Thanks for your time, but now let's get into the main video. So today I am giving you a full beginner guide on how to easily get the blue science tech points in Graveyard Keeper. If you don't know what these are, basically they are technology points which are used to learn new skills and unlock blueprints and they are unlocked by three different types of technology points, the red, green and the blue. The red points are based around handcrafting skills and your ability to work with materials, so anything involving physical labour generates red points. Actions include operating machines on the farm, cutting down trees and mining stone and coal. Now the green points are based around knowledge about the nature of things and of nature itself. So anything involving organic materials generates green points. This means cutting down weeds, gathering wood and farming. And the last ones are the blue points. They are based around spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. Blue tech points are definitely the hardest to earn in the early game. Tasks involving things like the morgue, graveyard and alchemy often generate them but many of these aren't options until later in the game. All of these tech points are obtained by different actions as well as items and study of items. Essential to progress are the study table in the church basement and the science and faith points that are used to study items. And like I mentioned before, blue points are really hard to get in this game, especially in the beginning, which you will need these in order to progress further. I see and hear a lot of people ask how to get these blue tech points and they get frustrated with how little they are earning, especially with how easy it is to get the red and green points. So today I'm going to show you all the possible ways you can get these blue points easily in the beginning of the game to get you started. So first, let me get straight into the study table. This is going to be essential and the best way to earn these blue points in the very beginning. The study table is a place where you can research the various items in the game for a one-time bounty of tech points. The study table becomes available after you've progressed the bishop's main quest line far enough to get access to the church and the alchemy lab. To research most items, you will need some combination of science and faith. Science, which is similar to fuel in the furnace and oven, is stored within the study table and is not an item you can have in your inventory. To obtain science, simply research clean paper, notes, chapters, books or lenses in the study table. Some tiny amounts of science is also obtained during the astrologer's quest when you research the keeper's key with the instructions for using it. Faith is a resource that can be obtained either through giving sermons in the church or occasionally at random from a confessional. But once you have access to the study table and have earned yourself a few science and faith, you can now go on to study items to earn various tech points. But the only items you can study which will generate the blue tech points are all body parts, gravestones, fences 
and alchemical substances. You can only study these items once, but gathering body parts and gravestone decorations are easy and studying these will generate you a lot of blue points in the beginning of the game to get you started. Just make sure to store away at least one of every body part that you autopsy and craft some gravestones and fences and keep one of each of those. Study everything that you can make that will give you blue points. Each item's description will tell you what points and items it will give you once broken down and studied anyway. Now, once you have studied everything that you possibly can in order to get the blue points, you will no longer be able to use the study table again to acquire them. So now you need to focus on other ways to require these rare tech points. And this is where I will help you. So other ways that you can earn blue tech points are firstly using the church workbench. You will have to unlock the blueprint to craft this in the technology skill tree. It is very easy to unlock. And once you have crafted this, you can now craft numerous things here, such as ink, pen, hemp rope and candles. All of those things will gather you blue points by crafting them. They will not generate you massive amounts, but it is something to help you boost up the blue points. And they are very easy to craft in the beginning also. You can of course craft more things at the church workbench that will give you blue points such as embalming liquids, but this is very advanced and will only be acquired late in the game. So you will not have to worry about this just yet. Now, another way that you can earn blue tech points easily in the start of the game is by using the desk in the church basement. You can craft this once you unlock the blueprint in the skill tree, which can be very simple to do. And at the desk, you will be able to craft important things such as stories, notes, flyers, chapters, books and sermons. All of these items that you craft at the desk will generate blue points and this will give you a good amount at the beginning of the game. Every little helps, right? One last option that I have for you in order to get blue tech points is by taking a trip to the lighthouse to visit the astrologer. He visits here once every week on the moon icon day. The astrologer will sell you numerous essential things such as ink, pens, chapters, notes and even paper. These items are great to buy if you can't craft them yourself just yet. But there is one amazing item that you can purchase from the astrologer. And that is a book which once you have read it will give you 25 blue points. You need to unlock tier two with him in order to purchase this from him. There is also the books that generate the red and green points too. The ones we are focusing on today are the blue ones. This is amazing if you want 25 blue points at a single time. But if you ever manage to get to tier three with the astrologer, he will eventually sell you another book at a higher cost, which will give you 50 blue points once you've read it instead. Now this is a great way to earn blue points, but of course it does come at a cost of using your money but it is well worth doing the business. So there you have it guys. They are the best ways to earn blue tech points in the beginning of Graveyard Keeper. Of course, there are loads of other ways to earn these points, but like I did mention before, this comes way later in the game and will take you a while to even get to that stage. 
it's hard to get the blue points in the beginning and when you are so late in the game the blue points come a lot faster and easier it's just very tricky at the beginning hence the reason I made this video if you are late in the game though and you do want to see other ways of earning blue points I am working on a full advanced guide which will have this information in but I do hope this video was helpful to you in any way and that you have now learned a few tips and tricks in order to get these annoying little blue points if so please hit that like button the blue points are really hard to get in the game and even doing these tips will only generate you small amounts which means it's still going to take you a very long time to gather lots of these and progress in the game quickly. But this game is very grindy and it will keep you playing for hours. There is no fast way to do things in this game, especially gathering blue tech points. That's just the way the game is, but hopefully you can now start making a lot more blue points than you once did. That is all we have time for here today guys, I'm going to end that video there. Thank you all for watching, subscribe if you're new around here, hit the like button if you found this guide or tips and tricks video helpful. This has been me, the king of the sea, and I'll see all of you guys on the next, next video. video.